been a part of 17 tournaments, three Final Fours, and that Michigan national title team of 89 when he was an assistant. Here we go, East meets West from Indianapolis, the Orange of the Aztecs. And Jim Nance, we see Jim Beheim going with a 2-3 zone with minimum principles. Yeah, that doesn't shock you, does it? Don't let this kid alone. Shackle can really knock him down. Beheim with the rebound for Syracuse. Now this is a Beheim that can shoot, guard. He's good looking, he's got personality. <laughs> Where to get all those qualities? Uh, well, uh, Julie. <laughs> he is on some roll. Uh, really can shoot the basketball. Solid player. Looking for help. And that's tapped out by Minsa. And a pretty good pressure defense. And this is something that Brian Dutcher's guys bring to the floor each and every game and trip. Tough minded. Seven on the clock. Smart player, this kid. Joel Jolajai. Turns around, got to put it up, and he does. Rolls off the front of the rim. Dolashai. He's going to play the center of the zone. They will switch that. He's not a real center. He's a forward. Look at Gomez. Way outside, back of the rim, Blues. Saved at midcourt by Pulliam. Aztecs with a 23 and 4 record. Oh, Got to move it around a little bit. Can get some clean looks. Gurrier with the rebound for the Orange. Where's Mitchell, player of the year, the Mount West, really a talented player. Automatic switch. Both teams coming out a little cold here. A minute and a half into the game. You see that in a lot of games in the tournament. Everybody, those long awaited tournament jitters surfacing at the top, and then they'll settle in. William, look at that pass. And it leads to the basket by Mensa. That's against the that Ram. Pulliam really a solid point guard. Good feel, good understanding. Behan goes back out to Girard. He can fill it up too, this kid. Run of the rim this time. Box out, works for Mitchell. Look at the strength of this guy. Look at all the orange crashing and converging and denying. And there's the three. And John got back, so did Buddy Beheim. Just can't make these open shots early. Yeah, Gerard's had two straight trips that didn't fall. They lob it, and it's over the head of Mensa. A little bit of a hurry right now. And not moving the basketball, can always come back to that little bit of a lob with a, maybe a bump on the center. When you play this 2-3 zone, they are long, lean, and it's crazy as it's set. They face out, which means any deflection, they're ready to fill the lane in the fast break. Mm. He's really there on the catch. Contesting everything. Yeah. Griffin. Another kid that can really get it going, too. Gurrier says, why not? And that's off the Aztecs. Syracuse missed his first five from the floor. A nice job by Griffin being active. Because Adrian was his dad, played at Seton Hall for PJ. Carlesimo, that is. Yep. Screen and a rescreen here. Two teams that combined one for ten. And that was last touch by Pulliam. It'll stay with Syracuse. And without the fans, they're having trouble retrieving the ball. Yeah. <laughs> There's one lonely official at the end of the table. Dinner for one. He doesn't have friends, I guess. No, huh? I guess not. Well, they are not giving they have any. Look at his drive. Pretty. Woo! What an adjustment with the left. He is a clever player. He really has a nice game, floater game. Not a deep threat, but can put it on the deck and a little spice at the rim too. Yes indeed, the senior from Slovakia. And that foul on Mitza. Mitza's key to this team defensively. Protects all the dribble drives. Tomajic comes in for him on occasion. You got to be free when you play this song. Use your individual abilities. Vincent tries to drop it out. Comes right back outside. Wow. 
Boy, that was such a good look. And he can shackle. Knock him down, too. Double up on Mitchell, touched by Syracuse last. Paramount Plus is here. Live sports, breaking news, a mountain of entertainment. You got to get it. It just debuted early this month. Paramount Plus, try it for free. Mitchell spins out on him in his last touch by Griffin. And we may see this on the inbound. If you get the ball to the corner against Syracuse, they automatically trap that. So you're going to make a quick decision whether it's a shot or the pass. You know, talking to Jim Beheim yesterday, he told you that he feels like his team's in the best position it's been in all year. How about that? They do. They have gotten better lately. Dude, he's got a little bit deeper. Says the offense is pretty good, and defense is getting better. Gurrier has that one intercepted. Stepping into the lane was Pulliam. Now look at that zone recovers and gets back. Got to get to the middle and make a decision whether you shoot the shot or the, sh the dump down to the short corner. Sounds pass back outside Mitchell. Quickly gets rid of it. Shackle with the two. Wow. Brutal shooting yeah. at the start. One out of eight for one out of nine for San Diego State. One out of six at this end of the floor for Syracuse. Is it the rims or you think it's the you wait all day. The tournament? You wait all day. That's true. You watch all these other games. The anxiety builds. You haven't settled in. Now you're talking about us or these teams? Yeah, I'm talking about us. Because <laughs> Beheim showing he, no jitters right there. He can shoot it and get big numbers. And a confident player. I remember Jimmy telling me he was a youngster, how good he thought he would become. And Jim always quite frank about everything, including his son. Yeah, Buddy can fill it up. Nice pad. There's where you can make the decision now. Mitchell got free and got the roll, got the bounce. I love they're using different guys. They had Pullion in there, giving everybody an opportunity to make a decision to finish the deal. He's got the size to dribble and post up guys too, uh, Buddy Beheim. There's a reach in call on the Aztecs Pulliam. We go to the first break. A lot of bricks early, but it's going to be an intense one. No doubt the nightcap at Hinkle is going to be a good one. We're at the home of the Butler Bulldogs, who were national finalists in 2010 and 2011. Let's go over to Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. For Syracuse's point guard position is still a question mark as Kadari Richmond is still dealing with knee tendonitis and Bayheim told us he practiced but is definitely limiting his effectiveness so he will ride the hot hand between him and Joe Girard also keep an eye on Marek Dolajai playing through that broken finger on his left hand Jim. Well he's able to get rid of it right here he had a three point play to open up the scoring for Syracuse. Braswell comes into the game for the Orange and Syracuse turns it over. Yeah got that open center you're gonna have to dribble and turn the corner loosen up this pressure defense. San Diego State really gets into you. Solid at that end. Free throw line is a welcome area. Slip different people in. Adam Seiko on the floor, number two for San Diego State. He's a three-point shooter. You just don't want to settle for a long three unless it's late in the clock. There's Seiko yeah. with seven to shoot. There's your long three. Yeah, that's what that's because of what that defense does. Good bounce pass. Yes. 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 away by Tamayich. How about that? William and a nice feel. Tamayich, a graduate transfer, played at Maryland. He brings a big presence off that bench, Billy. He sure does. That's long on the three by Gurrier. Yeah, just a real settle again. Shackle trying to get him loose here. We know he can shoot it. Can always get that shot a little bit later. Shackle 0 for 4 from the floor. Trying to get Beheim moving a little bit here. Use some bumps for him. Nothing going at the rim. First time here. Driving on Pretty. Beautiful move. It's got some talent. Nice little kiss for the Qs.
tackle. They leave him open. He uh, finally hits one. How about the confidence of that kid? Not shaken. In the moment. He's probably a little offended. They backed away from him. Said, oh, you don't think I can make it because I missed my first four? Take that. Uh, but Jimmy thinks they've been playing the three-point line much better as a team, which has helped their progression. Lojai hits the floor. Syracuse able to keep it. Braswell comes in and off the bounce, the rebound to Pulliam. A great length on the wings on this defense. Shackle passed up a chance for two in a row. Have a great ball movement, though. Got to get through cracks, though. Just can't stand still. Inside out. out. Polio. Pretty. Bangs it home. That's big time basketball right there. Inside out. Brian's got his guys analyzing beautifully. Now to start to settle in. After that bumpy beginning for each side, Aztecs with six unanswered. Nice little pump. This is where he's pretty good at, with his size. Look at that. He's tough. Uh, Jim said that. That's one weapon they had. They don't have a real post up game. But his son has that ability to bounce to ecstasy. Showing a lot of range. He hit a three. He drove for a basket. And there he turns around and pops the two-point jumper. Seven points for Beheim. They are snappy with their offense right here. Good ball movement. Good interplay. Foul line turn and look. And it opens you up with a shackle. Goodness, you can't leave them. Excellent offensive weapons. You talk about a rotation on a jumper. That was perfect. And you mentioned the experience as a senior, undeterred by not knocking any early. Quick release. Oh, yes. Ooh. Chance for the four point play. Wow. Reminds me of Al McGuire when one of the players wanted, thought he should have started in front of Alley. He said, Why? I think I'm better. You're better, but I love my son. <laughs> Ooh, how about that 5-0 and oh, and how about the Big Ten losing Ohio State and Purdue that was the third overtime game right there We had the first one of the day here with Florida over Virginia Tech one more coming for Bayheim. Four-point play he scored the last 11 for Syracuse But that bracket that south bracket now with the two of the four getting knocked out Talking about Ohio State and Purdue. It's a big day for Baylor the next highest seed left in their bracket for the Bears is uh, Arkansas, the three. An incredible day. Look how wide the wings stay. You've got to go to the corner, but that's the quick decision you got to make right there. So Mayich gets it back out after the double team. Shackle returns it. So Mayich says, all right, you challenge me, I'll take it. That's the scouting report, too. And last touch by the Aztecs. Yeah, you're not going to be concerned about Tamayich hitting that deep one. Tapped out by Butler. Again, Beheim with the Orange's last 11 points. They put some size on him with Johnson now. Tough pull up. Look at Butler, able to get free and someone in his face quickly. Well, they do respond with that length and position, Syracuse. Seiko. Dovajai snaps it up ahead. Got to play this kid on the early. Buddy Beheim driving off the paint. Oh, look at the final. I thought he was going to jack that real quick. This is where a little nice hands. Look at this steal. Butler to the trailer and one. That's Johnson. But they are so good scoring off their defense, though. Helping their partner on that dribble, bounce. Great hands that run out. Johnson in the right spot. Very unselfish here in the open floor. A lot of guys would have gotten right to the rim. A chance for three. The basket and one shot. One. So Johnson, who's been coming on of late, had a recent career high 15 against Wyoming. And gets the three-point play. A pretty good driver, too. Aggressive kid. 
Good size for the defensive end of things. Gomez to the floor. With starter returns, 5'8 senior. And a confident stroker. Good from three. And a good pull up game. Syracuse bringing in Jesse Edwards, 6'11 sophomore from the Netherlands. And they go say they don't mind playing full court, fronting the, the guards on the floor. And a little tough inbound if you don't really step through, screen for one another. Dari Richmond will bring it up now. He'll handle the point with Gerard on the bench. Boy, that was an accident waiting to happen there. Beheim. How about this? This kid. Start. You think he's happy about being in the tournament? <laughs> he didn't have much space whatsoever. Quick jack. Knock down. He's been to the tournament a lot of times. <laughs> a good point. Not as much as his dad, right? Been there with his dad a few times. 35 NCAAs yeah. for Coach Poe. Griffith. And he's gonna elevate. He's gonna, he's gonna back him down now, I think. And just elevate. Two more. He's got 16 of the Syracuse 19 total. And they inch ahead by one. Goodness gracious. I asked Jim coaching your son. He said you're a little nervous on the side. I don't think he's nervous right now. Mitchell has got two points so far in the game. Yeah, this team is very well schooled up. Conference right. player of the year. Here he is. Gives it up to the corner. Butler. Good rebound. Johnson. Step on the line. He sure did. That's the one thing you can do against the zone, and Jim feels they're rebounding better. Uh, but you can get some offensive rebounds because there's not the normal checkout situations. San Diego State, San Diego State 31, Nathan checking Mensa. back in Nathan Minza, who was all defensive team in the Mountain West. Edwards on the floor too for that center position defensively for Syracuse. Syracuse has got to get some other guys going a little bit, don't you think? Absolutely. And get ride, uh, buddy. He's had these 16 points in a span of eight and a half minutes. Well, they are physical, too. How about three more? I guess you can. I was going to say, if that went in, I was going to say, I guess you can ride them. Yeah. Nice rebound, Shackle, and the giveaway. The only other points with the three-point play by Dolajai for Syracuse's first points, but 16 unanswered for Buddy Beheim, orange in front. Loyola knocks out the ACC tournament champion, Georgia Tech, to go to 14 and five all time. The 63 national champions will have Illinois in the next matchup and the ACC a rough day, including North Carolina losing under Roy Williams and Roy's first ever loss in this round, he had been 29 and 0 before today. Unbelievably delicious. Coca Cola, cherry vanilla, something this good should be out of bounds, but it isn't. Inbounds now, San Diego State down 19 18. Gurry and Griffin, I think, have to step up on the other end and counter that the inside out look at Shackles and good step in jumpers. Slipping different people in that post. I like that. Look at this reaction and look at the width, the length of the defenders. Forces Mitchell from way outside. To the corner, desperate save works. And then it's Seiko able, Gomez able to keep it in the hands of the Aztecs. Yeah, Richmond quick on the closeout. Gomez. He can help this team too, Richmond. Just doesn't have to turn it over. Five to shoot. Here you go, another three. Never touched anything. If you haven't seen this zone, it's so hard in practice to simulate. I'd like to see him go a little bit. Courier waits. Tough shot. Going to be a foul on Syracuse. Hey, Richmond over the top there. Well, you don't get any easy looks with San Diego State. 
two tough defensive minded teams. Chris Brian Dutcher went out there with Steve Fisher, one of the great people, Hall of Famer. What they've done, I mean, they were such a tandem first at Michigan and then, of course, coming west. They even named now the coach of the year in the Mountain West Conference the Steve Fisher Coach of the Year Award. How, how Brian fitting. Dutcher's won it twice. How fitting. Yeah, isn't Keep it, it in the family. Thank you. So, so Steve's at home with his son, Mark, who helps the program as yep. an assistant. Ah, Even for Mensa, that was tough. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> He's got some hops. What well, you've seen to this point, Bill, and is it what you expected? Uh, pretty much the defensive minded of both teams. So solid. One in man to man, one in that 2 3 look. A charge. Easy call. Got to have. Control. Perfect. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Uh, Jimmy not happy with that charge. Turnover. Very talented kid, too. They need his numbers, Griffin. Aztec shooting. Just 30% from the floor. Everything has been deep unless it's inside out. He can he's got range, but again, it's just on the perimeter where you're faced up. They say Mensa touched it. He didn't believe it. He thought it was Edwards, but it goes to Q's. Braswell on the other end will settle for his threes, but let's see what they get here. Oh, he might they may have had it right. So let that left hand come in there. He's not letting Buddy Beheim get a touch. Nice play. Mensa. Mensa says no way. Two on one. A good gift. Yep. Foul outside first. A really good foul. Henny foul. Coach's son foul. Yeah, the only problem with it, it's his second. Yeah, well, again, pretty good play, though. Maybe get him out, give him a blow now, changes things. Oh, they're going to say, see if this is flagrant. We used to be able to say intentional. Yep, they're coming over to look yeah, at it. Gene was, I'm sure, checking it out as well. And that hit Minsa on the elbow. <laughs> uh, some of these kids have underarm blocks. That's uh, one right there. Yeah, exactly. I thought they were going to look at that foul. Running down the floor, don't you say nothing underneath? No harm. Here's what you're talking about. Yeah, this is the one coming I, over. He reached in. Smart play. And it's just determined to be a common foul. Heady play, though. Now, you were right about the two, and it does hamper them, but uh, nevertheless, save the deuce. And where do they go on offense now? He's been all the offense. Yeah, he sure has. Look at these hands and length. Nothing easy. Deflections. Look how they get on that three-point line. Yeah, they're quick, too. Oh, they are. Pulling him from the wing. Overshot everything. Back to the orange. San Diego State shooting like they're back on the USS Midway. The last time these teams met, they met on the... Uh, Old aircraft carrier docked in San Diego Harbor. They say it was a four, <laughs> four gale force wind. Yeah, exactly, uh, four club wind that they would yeah. take off. Right, uh, tough making free throws, threes. Anytime you play Syracuse, though, you don't get any clean looks. Yeah, the Aztec shot one of 18 from three that day. Oh, he there's a three it. for the Orange. That's Braswell. They, lo they look for his threes. And again, just look at the extension on the defensive end. The ideal spot, that soft spot's right there in the lane, but it's what you do after that. Is there anybody on the baseline that's moving? Syracuse finally gets someone else to score, and it's an eight-point run for the Orange. Mitchell's been contained so far. The conference player of the year forces one up. Edwards was the reason. 
a tough shot that went. Beheim a lot happier with his play of late. Gerards, he's open. He can get it going too, this kid. Syracuse on a roll. That's 11 unanswered. Woo, the Cuse is loose, Jim Nance. The stroke alive, ball movement, not alive. Perimeter shooting, excellent. There's your game summary. And I can add that the Aztecs have been held scoreless for the last five and a half minutes. Eight consecutive empty trips. Jerry McNamara, yes, on that national championship team down in New Orleans back in 03. And he had, you remember that final four? He had the game with the seven threes. It looked like Buddy Bayheim was having a McNamara moment there when he ran off 16 consecutive points for the orange. Well, you might call these kids the way they shoot McNamara's band. Yeah, well, McNamara well, works on their shooting. He does, he really does. And now, poise and balance, get good shots. Mitchell bouncing off defenders, giving it up to Pulliam, who had to beat the shot clock. Dolajay able to save it. Dolajay. San Diego State. Oh, nice, that's where they're going to have to get it. This end of the floor. Pulliam. What a block. Oh, my gosh. Well, they're not giving up on anything, huh? Talk about Lesson. Lesson. Kadari. Woo. Woo. What a reaction. <laughs> you think you got an easy one? Number three. Woo, big time. Rejection. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day. How yeah. about the reaction, Jim? Just incredible, huh? It's like the swim stroke block freestyle. He actually got it with the left hand and then the right hand. Amazing play by Richmond. So sure, he's trying to get some easy shots if you San Diego State. And that would have been one off the defense, but it's been a real struggle. I might try and put the guard at the foul line. Oh, nice hands here. And let them make some decisions. Gold this kid can shoot it. This team has missed 10 straight. Seven for 29 from the field. And they missed their last eight threes. And Gerard can get it going, too. There he is. He can get it going. And oh. one. Oh, my goodness. The closeout could be a second four-point play of the half for uh, the Qs. Uh, this kid's had some nights, too. Oh, they really stretch your D with their ability to make threes. And this is without a center, too. Oh, behind the back pass. Get him organized. Gomez makes contact. Hey, Much hey. of the year, it could be Coach Beheim's words, feast or famine with Gerard, but he's been better at the end of the year. We've seen it so far in this one. He's got Diego, seven. San Diego State's got to stay in touch, make some adjustments at halftime. One of them might be getting a guard in that center spot where they're just matching up perfectly. And they've got to get two on one and settling deep. That's not their style. Billy Mitchell now is one of nine. Can't get started. They've scored 10 unanswered with Bayheim on the bench. Nice play by Edwards. Goodness, and they aren't hustling, out scrapping, and obviously drilling deep. Yeah, Edwards comes out and hand delivers it back to Richmond for the reset. And as you said, he's rebounding, guarding better at the other end. Empty side here. There's Gerard. He's got it. Oops, I thought that was good. Boy, it was timely. We had the angle on it. It looked good. Now look at the balance. Wasn't a turnover or potential. Shaq able get to get it back. You know, he got off the floor. Look at Jim Beheim so upset over there. Coming up, AT&T at the half scores and highlights the latest NCAA tournament news. It's all coming up on AT&T at the half. First foul on Gerard. 
But it's an 11-point lead. A 15-nothing run over the last seven and a half minutes. Incredible how they've shut down San Diego State. And got a rebound to get Mensa inside. If he doesn't get a touch, make sure he goes to the glass. And just see, they can't really adjust. Not their normal aggressive. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. That's what I like right there. But again, nobody to find. And they've got a shot, shot clock that weren't alert enough. Now, this is not typical of this team. This is a sound, solid basketball team. And right now, Brian not recognizing them. Nope, they've lost their way for almost half of this opening half. Can't get anything right at that end. And they got to think stops now. And get something going at the other end. Buddy Beheim back on the floor for the final 114. He's got to be careful, obviously, with those two. See if they get him some offense. Dolajai lobs it. A little too high for Edwards. They're not the kind of play you've been solid that you'd like to see if you're a Cuse guy. 12 straight possessions without a point. It's not where you can isolate and go after Beheim. Just dreadful shooting. An excellent rebounding, too. Braswell at time. 22% from the field. Bone drive for almost nine minutes. And a quick time answer to losing it. Mm. The Q's in command at the moment, up 11. House of Highlights, The Real is back for season three. Host Kenny Beecham sits with top athletes to react to the biggest moments of their careers. Watch now on Facebook. Watch. Want to see that one with special guest Grant Hill. Absolutely. If we don't, he won't speak to us. We'll get his reaction to the biggest moments of his career. That would be sitting next to you, Bill. <laughs> well, he's had a lot more important and enjoyable. We've loved having him. Nice little backdoor look. What a nice set play. Goodness. Gerard. Wow, get the flow going one way. Gerard runs back to the strong side. Oof. Ten seconds and a half. Really not every dribble driving, not screening the perimeter of the zone, and they got a block. With four seconds. Uh, just all this action, you're gonna see. George's gonna make sure he's gonna come all the way over here. What a nice little play. Dolajai, get the puppies organized. The third, ringing a bell. Minset at the line to break a spell of nine minutes and 33 seconds without a point. And not even that goes. Can they get one last good look? He can shoot at this kid. Steps up, fires it, almost. Oh, oh that looked good. Oh. The way things were going, I'm surprised it didn't drop. Absolutely. They sprint to the locker room. Having completely stone cold shut down San Diego State for virtually the last 10 minutes. The last 18 points of the half to the Orange. 32-18 Syracuse will send you to AT&T at the half after these message, messages. You're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. It's a Syracuse 14-point lead as these halftime stats presented by Lowe's. Total domination the last 10 minutes of the first half wrap as we go over to Trace. Well, thanks, Jim. I had a chance to speak with Brian Dutcher, who said they need to be more aggressive with this zone. Expect them to do more inside out like they did to start this game. He wasn't upset with all those threes, but he told his team, don't settle, shoot with confidence. Also, expect to see Pullen more involved at that high post. We'll see if they could turn this around, Jim. Boy, they've got to really climb a mountain now. And Raft, how about some adjustments you see for the second? Uh, I think the big maybe screen the zone, have two play one, and also slip that guard into that high post. Let him dominate and get into some sort of a high-low game. The action inside out. Got to make some changes. They want to get back in this. Ball screen, top of the zone, you say. Guard at the high post, high-low action. 
they got to figure something out. It's going to be Syracuse to inbound to start. And by the way, uh, guard the three-point line at the other end. We didn't have time to slip that one in. There you go. And every time I do a Syracuse game, I think of all my buddies in the business. Of course, this tremendous history of the broadcasting school there. We heard from Sean McDonough at halftime. He said, can you believe my alma mater's up 14 and Gurrier and Griffin didn't score. Mike Tarico's down at Key Largo on vacation. Loving what his arms are doing. And they've got two more. How about that right inside? Dolajai in the paint. This has been unsolvable at this end. And they're going with Mitchell in here, and he struggled trying to elevate that lane over the bigs. Still can't buy one. Mensa, nice hands. Knocked out of his hands. And Mitchell, who was one out of nine in the first half. Finally! Shackle with the three. Once they take that away, you have to make an adjustment now. They're going to come out and guard that line. That ends a 20-point run. There's a good little defensive maneuver, too. San Diego that was a 10-minute and 30-second stretch between buckets when Shackle finally got one to fall for the Aztecs. And really, the lack of communication at the other end. Gerard didn't come out and play the shooter. There you go. Get in between two play one. Mitchell, boy, he practiced that a lot when he came back out to warm up. Shackle from the corner. Vincent trying to keep it alive, and it's going to be a reach in on Mitchell. Now, one thing you can do is crash the glass, though. Big opportunity on misses, but you got to get good shots so the misses are in an area where you can get some offensive rebounds. Get Beheim going when we get him on track now. He's got to be active. Use the bumps. Beheim with 16 first half points. And now three more. His size is so effective. His release so quick. Nice through. screen. That's a, that's a with that open opportunity to get to the rim. Where was that the last 10 minutes of the first half? Bayhunt. Gerard. On the floor with it comes Mitchell. Stutter step move. He's taking it to the hole. And he's got his second hoop. And that's those open opportunities they need. Push gets some easy deuces before that zone settles. How can they turn this around? And the defensive end there are excellent. Stay in position. Again, the size now. Going to be a reach in on Pulliam. Just the ability to get to the lane. Mensa just holding off. Real solid offensive play. And that's getting between the cracks. Uh, two on one. And here's that strength. It's a the reason he's player of the year. Big, strong, physical performer. He's also the Mountain West Conference Tournament the MVP. MVP. on the switch. What a nice play by Bayhai. Read it right away. Take advantage. A low post area. A little size differential impact. Shackle in the corner. Quick fire. He hit one coming out of the locker room, and he's missed two other opportunities since. They got Mensa on that one, I think. But this is just really good basketball. Right event. Pulling now stuck in the low post area. Just a really solid play. Tough. Gary A with the finish. You know, I watched Buddy Bay. You know, Jim built a gym in the house. 
obviously finally spending some money up there. It sounds like a good investment. And, and, and just all that time in that little gym, the impact he has had. Of course, I'm sure Julie's been in there teaching him how to stroke it. <laughs> He's hurt a little bit. He's okay, I think. He's going to stay in the game. He's looking to the trainer. They got some blood, I guess. Got a cut on the elbow, I believe. Well, the first time I ever saw Jimmy Beheim, he was a freshman at Syracuse with Dave Bink. And we went up there, and their varsity wasn't very good. It was packed for the freshman game. We came out for our game. Everybody had left. How about that? They were there. Jimmy always says they came to see him play. I think yeah. it may have been Dave Bing, though. That relationship with Jim Beheim and Dave Bing, special. It continues to this day. I think he looked older in 1977, actually. Goodness. Has he been around? Nothing but chalking up wins year in and year out. You know, he can be charming, by the way. How does he I, like all of this? You know, he doesn't get the, the, the fire back. You guys have such a good bond. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's always a say, thing. He's got a personality, but he likes to hide it. Yeah. You know, the first time he was the head coach, you know where he was. He was the head golf coach oh, at yeah. Syracuse. That's right. Good point. And a pretty good golfer in his day. Well, he's not anymore? Well, like, he's not playing as much, he said. And the pain on the run. Big strong kid. Gary A. Taking advantage. We some savvy individual judgments right now by Syracuse. Gary A, a third team all ACC performer. And they didn't need his offensive output in that first half. This gives him three points for the game. Now's the perfect time to catch up on Clarice before the next secret unfolds. Stream for free on the CBS app or subscribe for more on Paramount Plus. New episodes of Clarice return Thursday, April 1st on CBS. 15 point margin. Inside out. Don't settle unless it's deep in the clock. Little screen there. There you go. Again, getting into the middle of it. Did he play? Able to turn around and dump it down. And we got another orange player shaking up. It's Gary A. We'll go to break. Hopefully he's okay. Gary A. We went to break. He was down. He's fine. He's going to stay in the game. And here's a thrilling drive presented by Nissan. And why not? The son of the head coach, the ability to get to the rim. Talked about his quick release. How about the quick pull up? Jack, uh, playing with so much confidence, doesn't need much of a cushion to stroke that baby big time. He had 31, Billy, in his last game in the ACC tournament against Virginia when the Orange lost on a buzzer beater to get knocked out of the conference tournament. Nice that bonus guy be able to handle that pressure. Look at this quick one. Up ahead, pushing it now the Aztecs. Butler got cut off that angle, and that's off San Diego State. Well, a nice recovery by Syracuse, too. Gerard looking saying they got him on the elbow. Syracuse basketball. Once again, the full court pressure now. Mensa with that length. Able to deny and double. A nice little pressure release, but you got your 6 8 forward. Able to bounce it up. Yeah. It's a nice luxury to have. A switch off. Mitchell now on Bayheim. Go to Nice cap, bad pass. And the Aztecs take advantage of the t turnover. Mitchell, nice cover step move. It's open. They got in the zone, in the cracks. Down to 11. Biggest lead had been 16. Now you want to make the opponent start thinking, is this a good shot? Can I make this shot? Put a little pressure on them. 
to go. Gary hits the floor again, and that's going to be offensive. Offensive foul. He tried to slide by. Oh, so Mentor's okay. May have hit his head on the floor. Offering it up. Second foul on Gurrier. Watch Vincent. He definitely had position. And tried to slide by. Even though it was only half the body. That, oh, kicked in the back of the head. Inadvertently. Tobachai going for the rebound. And Vincent goes to the bench. Trying to get it down to single digits. Lions in there now screening. Offensive rebounding. There's Mitchell. Again, doing such a nice job driving the ball and then completing the deal. Braswell looking for help. Bozai really knows the game. Good outlet guy. And they've got the small change on the reach in. Well, that wasn't Mitchell. much. No. You call that in the playground, you get booed off the court. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're not invited back. Exactly. Now, this is a really good defensive team. That's where they got to really tighten up. It's a team bill that's been 53 and 6 over the last two years. How about that? 30 and 2 last year. You think about some of the teams, some of the programs that had good things going. San Diego State, Dayton last year. Yeah. And of course, those kids didn't get a chance. Mount Franklin's still in touch with the program as well. Kick it to the corner. How quick does he get rid of it? And Gerard, with that acknowledgement, good quick delivery to the shooting pocket. 22 now for Bayheim. Got more than half the total. And there's a reach in call on Dolbajai. They don't want to foul that far from the area, but look at the quickness of this shot. Bang! Can't even cover. Just amazing stroke. Doesn't hit the 10. Don't shoot him for quarters. Shackle. Oh, that was halfway down, and the spun out. Sure was. There's that quick release. Good. And there's the same result. Wow. He just about got halfway turned. Talk about feeling it. Well, nine of 11 from the field, but even better, six out of seven from three. It's the largest deficit of the season for the Aztecs. Edwards with the push off. There'll be no naysayers in the Syracuse area about this kid's ability. Just halfway around. Finally got the shoulders cocked. He knows he is on top of his game. He's warm. Don't touch him. What is that you say? The, the, the cynic says he's only on the team because his father's the coach? <laughs> he had some influence. Yeah. He can flat out play. It makes you think of some of the, the great combos of father coaches and sons who are stars. College basketball, you think of Press Maravich, Pete Maravich. Yes. There are others, many yes. others. Allen Alley. Yep. Well, look at the push off. Again, just be composed now. Seiko. He can shoot it, but nothing going inside. Again. And that's going back to the orange. Really having their problems analyzing. Going back with Mitchell for that reason. This is amazing, this zone, by the way. And people just don't understand. If you don't see it on a regular basis, remember Indiana a couple of years ago, a great Indian Tom Crean's team, they came in, they just couldn't get it going. And there's a steal in the backboard. That's one way of getting it going. But uh, the foul, I believe, and Gerard Pryor. It was Butler who took it away. You now when you see Syracuse like this and the intensity that they bring to a zone, you know, that's the thing. 
And Beheim is not happy even with his 17 point lead. He's not happy about that last exchange and that ball being stripped from Gerard. Now you mentioned Butler, of course, the president of James Danko used to be the dean of the business school at Villanova. Now the president here and uh, everything starts at the top. People couldn't be nicer to us, more cordial, more accommodating. This great institution. They've reset the shot clock to 28. Nice pass. What a block. That was Edwards. Behan. I thought he was going to try and take a nice composure. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to set it up. It never materialized. What a perfect spot. The little cushion. And why not enjoy it? Richmond, Richmond. makes the 19 in front. An 8 nothing run. San Diego State had it down to 11 and had a trip down the floor to get it to single digits. And Mitchell missed a three. And look where they are on the floor, though. Way out here, under 10, and nothing. That's where you got to go. Got to flash that post, catch, turn, and do some damage. Get yourself back in this game. That's a tall task now. Nothing is easy. Look at the block by Edwards. And then Kadari says, I dare you. Cuse by 19. Hey, the first round continues tomorrow with the Nissan NCAA tip off show on True TV at noon Eastern. Then 16 games across TBS, CBS, TNT, and True TV. Tomorrow, you decide the games to watch. Georgetown and Colorado, for example. First up tomorrow, 12:15 Eastern on CBS. Look what Buddy's done versus San Diego State. San Diego State from three, four out of 29. And it's amazing, a lot of them are on his own ability, not an inside out or an offensive rebound kick out. Not much space, they're covering him. Still able to have enough room to quickly snap it. It's 13% for the Aztecs from three. My buddy is six of seven on big his thing, own. Big thing, making a free throw, getting your press set now. This is where Dolly's eyes important. You saw him bring it up earlier. Got to be careful. That's a little bit turnover prone. Richmond. He's in his range right now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> On this night, for sure. Most every night, actually. And Mitchell really working hard. Don't let him get, oh goodness. There's that range. Mitchell comes back out with it. Shackle. Tapped out to Behan. And a one and done. They're one of their last 20 from behind the arc. He's really doing this without screens. Here comes a late one. A little small change by Mitchell. Has twice have gotten Mitchell for a little small change. Oh, goodness. That's number three for him. Small change adds up to big change. Yeah, it does. Not believing that one either. It's been a tough go here for this decorated player. Sixth all time on the school scoring list. Three for 13. 0 for 7 from 3. And to me, a two touch fouls, too, that hurt him. Yep. Nice shot by Mensa. Now with 5. Edwards. Oh, how about that help? Jimmy said this kid is getting better. Helps our defense, rebounds, and rings the bell a little bit, too. Yep, says he's coming on. He's more of a factor now. SDSU, four and a half minutes without a basket. Another drought of big proportions. Minsa. There he is. Wildly, and it's Edwards at this end. His kids improve, I'm telling you. Yeah. There's no their roles, how they can contribute. I guess you win almost a thousand games, uh, knowing what you're doing, huh? 
It, I think by that time you'd have it figured out. Exactly. And he was right. I mean, he foreshadowed it about his team was really coming together at the right time. Here's with two on the clock. Oh, again. Wow. Richmond. Fifty-three thirty. Boy, they're all feeling it. A little alley oop, and look at the cover by Edwards. Edwards was there to make sure it didn't get to Johnson. Cut off the pass. Oh my goodness, that's Braswell. You're right, Bill. They're all feeling it. Absolutely. This cannot feel real to San Diego State. Uh, this all stems from number 35. Buddy Behan started it. Everybody feeling it. What's it? Feeling good. Looking good. Hinkle <laughs> Fieldhouse. We were celebrating fathers and sons because of what Jim Beheim has watched with Buddy Beheim today. Remember the McDermott's? I sure do. Yeah, not that long ago. What about the tandem? Remember, they, remember when Dad fell off the uh, yeah, Hunter? Yeah, yeah the Ron Hunter. And Steve. Mm. The Dawkins, we saw them yeah. give Duke fits. Game that came down to the wire. And now Buddy and Jim. And what a performance this kid has put on mm. today to give this substantial lead. You ready for this? Exactly 20 minutes of game clock. Going back to the first half. It's a 42 to 12 stretch as Mitchell gets the basket underneath. A 30 point advantage over a half a game stretch is what they just were getting coming out of that break. Yeah, Mitchell really aggressive after that timeout, too. For the first hoop in almost six minutes. Is that this match? Braswell hit one a moment ago from the other side. Stolichai with a nice little kick out. Oh, and then a feed. And Minsa got him with the hand. Uh, Mitchell was pretty ready. animated, wasn't he, Billy, during that timeout? He sure was. Very upset with his team. He saw that aggression when he came back out here. And of course, the frustration, venting, they're not accustomed to this. A couple of losses to Utah State, and boy, they run the table, and right away, his presence felt after that timeout. You mentioned the Utah State. It was a, a two-game losing streak playing up in Logan. And that was in January. They haven't lost since. 14 straight wins coming in. 62 games, 62 days since they last lost. Well, they've barely been in this one since Bayheim warmed up early. And now they drove a little bit. Pulliam gets to the rim. It's an opportunity for an offensive rebound. Now, early, we were talking about a lot of clunkers, a lot of bricks. The team's trying to settle in. And then Beheim started to warm up. And he had a stretch of 16 straight points for Syracuse. And the Orange, in many respects, have never looked back since then. Beheim roll. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. You know, in talking to Jim Beheim the other day, we were just talking about the opponent. They spend, I would say, 75, 80% of their practice going against this 2-3 zone. You just can't simulate it. It doesn't carry over the length. Well, the way they take away certain aspects of it. And it's just so difficult if you haven't seen it before. It just decimates you. We're seeing it tonight. It's been at its peak powers. And they have it this end also. The plays like that. Wow, Braswell with the cut. Tholajai, great understanding of the game. I like to see these kids stay aggressive though San Diego State. Too good a team running into a team on top of their game, Jim. How about this? Dovajai finds him. Braswell delivers it. Syracuse shooting 71% in this half.
Boy, these are all one sided numbers. Beheim with 25. Mitchell contained so far with eight. Look at the three point shooting. How about 30 attempts and only four to go for the Aztecs? After all the games are over, our studio team will have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Band as presented by Buick later tonight, only on True TV. Three so hard to come by at this end of the floor is Mitchell, and that's going to be on Syracuse. Yeah, tough shot after the timeout, too. They had run a baseline bump for Shackle, and then quick jacked it. One and one. Matt Mitchell, one and one. For Mitchell. 81 at the line. And with oh. It. Oh. Put back. Beautifully done by Shackle. Rutgers and Clemson coming down to the wire over on TBS with the winner to take on Houston on Sunday. Oh, charge. Yep, easy. Yep, and Richmond knew it. They just got a little bit too deep. It's interesting. Dolajai made a nice pass, and he couldn't really look ahead. The leading right here. I mean, it was a great pass, but he's got a jump stop and five. Bolajai's got some blood too, I guess. This Richmond's going to be quite a player for him, Bill. Yeah, growing up, really. A lot is asked of young people. That block he had earlier in this game was one of the big highlights. Whew. He got both hands on it, didn't he? Did. he? Separately. What do you call it? A swim move? A, almost, a, right? swim, a swim stroke. Freestyle. A single little play. They went shake through to the corner. And look at the reaction. Get between guys. Nice pass. Back outside. Now that, that's good basketball there. I mean, that's a good three look. Even with the good looks, they can't yeah. get him to go. St. Code. Four out of 32. And he shoots it at 34% too. He'll not be in a hurry here. That's a real good one opens. Two, one, it's his night. No. It's going in. No. Did you have any doubt? Goodness. <laughs> It up. Boy, that is really incredible. <laughs> that is. Does he have it going tonight? How about that? A rare one. Pull him. A zone, they call it. A zone unknown to most. Buddy Beheim. How about Beheim hitting that shot? <laughs> Time was running out. He's got size too. Made some good passes as well. Oh. Really by Dolajai. Smart kid. The kid can do a lot. Good offensive player. Good feel, good understanding. Sometimes plays bigger than his frame, too. Shackle with the bank shot. They hit back-to-back -back threes. You gotta get some stops though. They wanna get in touch here. Sometimes you slow down, you lose that rhythm. You could have walked. I think he did. Gerard. Beats the no, no. <laughs> Almost though. He's smiling. Good. He's just smiling out there. He knows he's got it going. Would have given him 31, which he had in the last game. Shackle. Hey, they made three in a row. Where has that been? I don't know. All of a sudden, 
Uh, this end of the floor. Got to get into your flow, I think, if you're Syracuse. Don't dilly dally, you lose rhythm, and that doesn't help. Mensa, at least, San Diego State, it doesn't help. Bayheim with a little bit of everything. Boy, goodness, not much room at all. Give him an inch, he takes it all, and he knows. Why not? That's almost Michael Jordan like, right? It's almost with, apologetic. With, with the trailblazers, right? you know what am I going to do? Yeah. I got it going. Yep. Sorry, guys. I just, I just got a feeling. <laughs> One and one. One and one. You can get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Final four in San Antonio, the Women's Tournament this year. Two for two. Dolajai now with 10 points. Now the premise is to take away the threes, and they're up on that line. Therefore, you've got to overload on the baseline. Not a good look there, but a good idea. It's an underneath. Good save by Johnson. All of a sudden, doing some really nice things. After Buddy Beheim on the matchup, he can elevate size wise if he gets a touch. Under four minutes to go. Gerard with two. Drives in. Picked up off the floor by Johnson. Aztecs for the first time in this game in rhythm on this end of the floor. And Mitchell. And that is his spot again. He practiced over and over again, but he hasn't cashed in from that side yet. Timeout on the floor, 20 point lead. <laughs> yeah, I know a few. Grew up in Colts Neck, New Jersey, went to the University of Houston, and how about the way Christoph, Kelvin Sampson, and the Cougars won by the biggest margin today in Cleveland State. And then Rutgers coach Pike bringing that program back. That'll be a doozy of a second round matchup. Houston winning today on what would have been Hall of Famer Guy Lewis's 99th birthday. And it took him to five Final Fours. And he took, uh, he got you in the business, yes, really, he did. right? That started. Coach's show. Yeah, public address announcer. The trust to be with the mic. They've never put it down since. They should have known better. <laughs> And the burger's better for him. That's too kind. Nice punch. We're looking to put up the shot because they collapse on him. By the way, with Buddy's performance today, he's moved past his dad on the NCAA tournament career scoring list for Syracuse players. <laughs> Hitting 50% from the floor versus his dad's 33%. Oh, over Trace. Well, Jim, you're talking about father and son. When Buddy Beheim was struggling a bit this year after two COVID pauses, he came back a little out of sync, and his father's advice to him, just keep shooting. Well, it sounds simple, but Buddy said that's exactly what he needed to hear. He said he needed that from his father, who just pushes him. It gets on him. He knows how to motivate him. And at that point, during a frustrating time, that was huge. Dad found just the right words to get his son going, and he's just playing his best basketball right now down the stretch. You're not kidding. Good stuff, Tracy. What do you think it's like for him? Bill, you've known Jim for so long. At this station in life, to have a son who is a tremendous talent, mm -hmm. you've known him for all of these years. Pretty cool to see. Absolutely. Nice little back cut, something we haven't been able to get. A warm and fuzzy man, I didn't. A lot of people would know that. Uh, he loves his family, and of course, a lot of this ability uh, so taught by Jimmy, too. There's the confidence uh, he has in his son. He's done to a lot of players over the years. He's just not funny. He's buddy, two points away from a 30-point night. And he's got him. There you go. Back-to-back 30-point -back games. What a nice pull-up. He knew he had Tobias. Mm. 
31 against Virginia, now 30 against San Diego State, and the Aztecs are hitting shots late. It just was nothing like that at all for the first oh, 34 minutes of the game. And defense not as sharp either, and giving them opportunities. They just didn't have the execution early to stay in touch with the Qs. They treated this like one of the games in the dome, didn't they? Really did. No, just... Back out to Gerard. Oh. Like you're trying to get a sub in. But he was ready to jack one up, though. Look at this pull up, though. Square, elevate, and I think you're right. You said off fair. You think he's like 6'7 or 6'8? Yeah, he looks much bigger than they list him at 6'6. And they take him out, and the Syracuse faithful who made their way to Indianapolis. Give him a huge ovation for a star performance. That beats the shot clock again. This time, it's Richmond. So many weapons from deep. Jim might want to say, hey, guys, let's save some of these for the next round. Another one goes for San Diego State with Gomez. Who before tonight had never lost as a starter. He was 15-0. Pulling up the shackle, <laughs> unable to lay it in. Uh, this is a solid team effort. I know Buddy, Buddy really stands out, no question about it, but defensively, on uh, top of their game, and a really proud institution. And Brian's club just came up empty and just couldn't cope with this zone, but terrific year for them. Brian told us he was glad to be playing Syracuse and Hinkle instead of perhaps something like Lucas Oil Stadium where this right here would give you the better depth perception and backdrop. But it certainly didn't prove the case. Fifty two seconds to go again the last time they had met. It was several years back on the decommissioned USS Midway. They played in gale force winds and Brian said, well, we learned a lesson there. You, you never schedule an outdoor game with a zone team. <laughs> that was one of the all time worst scheduling moves. Uh, the wind and it just a nice little gesture here. Congratulating all those guys. Mitchell on an incredible career. And, and Jim, the, the sad part of the NCAA is the kids forget what they accomplished all year long. I mean, it's such a sudden exit. Yeah. And you don't play your best game. Mitchell coming out with 17 points. Shackle had 17 points. 14, Jesse Edwards. Ball chance to a bit such. Pillars in this four year run, Dutcher's fourth year. They really went on this journey together. And again, they missed out on a chance last year when they even were stronger than this. Uh, Wetzel, we mentioned Flynn. They were a good team. Yeah. Hitting them all now. Mitchell, the reality that his time with San Diego State is going to come to a close much earlier than he hoped. Now, this game doesn't define what he's accomplished. No, can't be. Newton in the game now, handling the ball. He's going to get a shot. And he's going to hit it, too. Good. It is contagious. It is. Goodness gracious. Newton, another freshman. And now all of a sudden, San Diego State hits everything in the last minutes. Well, that's the guy it all stemmed from. Father and son, tough combo. Give him a smile, Jimmy. Give him a hug. I think he will. <laughs> Syracuse advances to the second round with a one-sided affair against San Diego State tonight. Led by Buddy Bayheim's 30 points. Uh, one Beheim is too much. Two is impossible. Hey, they play like they did tonight. Father and son are going to have a nice little time here in Indianapolis for quite a while. 
They will be taking on the winner of West Virginia and Moorhead State, which still has a half to go, and the Mountaineers up by seven. Look at this celebration. They know it was their night. <laughs> Every which way. Especially Buddy Beheim. Coverage continues tomorrow at noon Eastern. And now we'll continue on True TV and TNT with more action for Raft and Tracy. Jim Nance saying so long from Hinkle. We'll send you to the studio in a moment.